This area of the world, the Wallacea region of Indonesia, is one of the most endemic rich areas on Earth, as well as being a biodiversity hotspot. And the research here reflects this. After a series of lectures teaching students about the incredible diversity here, they join the team surveying birds, dung beetles, tarsiers, and everything in between. Over here, you see the orange? Yeah. That's called nose leaf. And that means it echolocates through the nostrils, not through the mouth. If a bat echolocates through the nostrils, it means it's constant frequency, it causes only one frequency, okay? From there, students will walk a whole number more surveys, including one of the most important surveys of Waldo, the Habitat Structure Survey. What we're going to get to do is get into pairs and run a rope 50 metres through the jungle. Then we're going to measure vegetation density, and so this is all to see how much of a carbon sink this area is. So we're using the clinometer, and we're looking from each point on the, from each rope, so we're doing each square to each square. So James is standing up there and then he holds it at his um, chest level, which is where I come up to him when standing next to him. And then I look through the chronometer and look at the angle from each place and then record it on the sheet. This is the vegetation touch test pole. So we put the pole out and then you count on each section how many pieces of live vegetation are touching it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> After their week in the jungle, students move out to one of the dive sites, either in Baobao Bao or on the island of Poga. privilege really to be able to come to a place that's so biodiverse and one of those opportunities that only a handful of people ever get to do and so it's an experience of a lifetime and something that students remember forever.